who heavens on the go. Monday, August 8th, 2022. Topic, Letter to the Ephesus Church, Part 1. Memory Verse, 2 Corinthians 6, 14. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? Bible reading. Revelation 2, 1-3 Unto the angel of the church of Ephesus write, These things saith he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. I know thy works, and thy labor, and thy patience, and how thou canst not bear them which are evil, and thou hast tried them which say they are apostles, and are not, and hast found them liars, and hast borne, and hast patience, and for my name's sake hast labored, and hast not fainted. The Message the first thing Jesus said to the Ephesus church after introducing himself to them is, I know thy works and thy labor and thy patience and how thou cannot bear them which are evil and thou hast tried them which say they are apostles and are not and hast found them liars. Revelation 2.2 God is watching us closely. He can see it all. He said that members of the Ephesus church did not tolerate sinners. They were separate. 2 Corinthians 6.17 Are you comfortable among sinners? The Bible asks, what has light got to do with darkness? If you choose a business partner who is not born again, he could be brandishing a charm under the table where no one can see him. You will then be wondering why God is not answering your prayers without knowing that evil spirits have been invited into the business. Jesus also commended this church for trying the people who came to them claiming to be apostles and finding the fake ones to be liars. When Paul was about to leave the Ephesians, he said, For I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. Also of your own selves shall men arise, speaking perverse things to draw away disciples after them. Acts 20, 29 to 30. Paul warned them of false prophets and they immediately started trying whoever claimed to be sent by God to them. This tells us that the members of this church were not just hearers of the word, but doers also. If these people had not acted on Paul's admonition to them, only God knows the kinds of doctrines that will have entered the church. It is because of this admonition that Jesus said they hated the Nicolaitans. The Nicolaitans are those who preach once you are saved, you are forever saved. The false grace preachers. The Ephesus church never believed their lies because they tested spirits before even listening to any preacher. You will only fall for false doctrines if you don't test all spirits. Prayer point. Father, give me the gift of discerning of spirits so that I don't fall prey to wrong doctrines. Father, give me the gift of discerning of spirits so that I don't fall prey to wrong doctrines.
Bible reading in one year, Isaiah 1 to 5. Him for today, deeper, deeper in the love of Jesus. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.